SNAP beneficiaries, otherwise known as food stamps, you need to be aware of this as your benefits may be reduced in a big way relatively soon. I have all the details and the full list of states that we need to be aware of in this video, so let's get into it right away. But if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and so I can keep you updated each and every day going forward during this very busy time as information can continues to change very, very rapidly. I'm doing all the research so that you don't need to, and I break it down into these short videos so that you can get the latest details hot off the wire each and every day as this information is being released. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and let's get right into the video. All right, so for those of you who are low income and receiving SNAP benefits, otherwise known as Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or a lot of people refer to it as food stamps, food assistance or nutrition assistance, you certainly want to be aware of this because some major changes to your benefits may be coming sometime soon here, and I want to let you know what is actually going on. By the way, in the United States right now, there's about 43 million beneficiaries of SNAP benefits. So there's a lot of people out there right now, and these benefits may be reduced in a kind of a big way for a lot of people that we certainly need to be aware of. All right, so I do have a list of different states here. I believe there's 13 different states on this list right now that are going to be removing their emergency allotment, which is again, $95 for a lot of people. That is a lot of money. I mean, seriously, these days, $95 doesn't get you a whole lot of stuff at the grocery store anymore, but it still is $95 a month that all of us could be using right now. So either way, I do want to bring you that list of these 13 different states that are reducing or removing their emergency allotment. And uh, I want to read that list uh, of states to you so that you can be aware if you are in local located in one of those states that this uh, this is reduction to your benefits will be coming relatively soon. Now, you might be wondering why? Why all of a sudden is this actually happening? Why are my benefits going to be reduced? What changed? What's going on here? All right, so we may have a little bit of an ace up our sleeve when it comes to these benefits continuing on for a little bit longer period of time. However, just like everything, all good things must come to an end at some point, right? Well, let's hope not, but let's just be real with ourselves at the same time. Because of these, uh, some of these different provisions that are put in place right now, some of the different rules that are being uh, allocated or that are being allowed right now because of everything going on because of the COVID situation, there are some special rules in place allowing states to actually send out this emergency allotment. However, that may be expiring relatively soon. So I want to tell you some of these deadlines that we need to watch closely because this is going to determine if slash when your SNAP benefits will actually be reduced. All right, so this is actually in reference to the Federal Public Health Emergency Declaration. Now, this is actually set to expire on the end of the day on April 15th. So just a couple of weeks from right now, it will be expiring unless it does get extended by the president. So he can actually be extending this thing out. Um, so we're not quite sure at this point if it will be extended out. Now, the last time that this expired was actually back in mid-January, and then they extended it out for another three months until mid-April. However, we're kind of pushing up on that deadline once again. And as of right now, I have not seen any indication of them talking about extending this out. If they do, hopefully they would do it for a few more months. But again, we have no clue what they're going to do going forward. But as of right now, we have to kind of anticipate that it's still going to expire as of the end of the day on April 15th. Hopefully it'll be extended, but who knows what's going to happen here going forward. All right, so... This is the federal public health emergency declaration that is put in place, and that is the deadline. However, as a result of this being put in place right now, all of these states have these uh, special privileges to actually send out this emergency allotment on a monthly basis for the people who receive SNAP benefits. Pretty cool deal, right? Because of that being put in place, they have special privileges to send out more benefits ongoing each and every month. However, here's the deal. When this does expire, they no longer have those privileges. They are not allowed to be able to continue sending out the emergency allotment, provided this um, emergency declaration is not in place anymore. Now, this could also be on the state level as well. On the state level, it could be a state emergency declaration put in place. And if that is actually lifted or removed, then again, they could actually be removing the emergency allotment once again for the millions of beneficiaries. So there's a lot of different moving parts right here, but on the state level, okay, that's an important one too, but realistically, what we really want to watch is the federal level. The public health emergency declaration 
on the federal level. That is the big one that we need to watch very closely because that uh, is all encompassing. That is all encompassing for all of the states versus a state declaration is just obviously within the parameters of each individual state. Um, but anyway, so I do want to bring you this list of different states here. If your list, or, sorry, if your state is on this list that we're going to read here in just a second, um, just be aware that your state is probably considering removing the emergency allotment, the $95 minimum going forward. So if you're receiving $95 right now, or if you're somebody receiving the extra allotment of $95, just remember when this is actually removed, your benefits would drop back down to what you were receiving about two years ago prior to the whole COVID situation and all of these emergency and special privileges being put in place. So whatever your benefit previously was, well, it'll actually, actually probably be a little bit higher than that simply because just like Social Security and SSDI and SSI, um, SNAP benefits also do get a COLA raise. Well, essentially a cost of living adjustment. So they do get a little boost to the minimum benefit each and every year for SNAP benefits as well, just like all of these other uh, monthly benefits like I just listed, Social Security, SSDI, SSI, you know, things like this. So anyway, your benefit may be a little bit higher as a result of that, but for the most part, you got to be aware of this stuff because each individual household may be reducing benefits by kind of a significant margin. So um, anyway, just when we don't need something like this to happen, of course, it might actually be coming here. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to bring Corey in, my wife, all of you know here, or the vast majority of you here in the community know her. She's around every so often in a few videos here and there. But anyway, she's going to come in and she's going to read a short article to you, um, just a little bit of information, kind of some preliminary information so you know exactly what all this means. And it's a better explanation than probably what I just gave you here in this video. Then you can kind of hear it from another source as well. And then, of course, she'll read that list of states that is on the list that has either sent out notices to all the residents and or is going to be removing that $95 emergency allotment relatively soon. So we can cross our fingers. Hopefully the administration and the president will actually extend out the public health emergency declaration once again. But at this point, we can't really anticipate anything until we actually get the extension. So with that being said, let's bring Corey in. She'll read this. It's only a couple minutes here. It's actually pretty short. Um, so she'll read this to you and then, um, yeah, I won't come back at the end just because there's really no need for me to. So if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos going forward. It's a busy time right now. Things are changing very rapidly. I'm breaking it all down with all the research that I do. Also, feel free to share this video or any others here on the channel with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other 2,300 videos right here on the channel. All right, enough out of me. Corey, take it away and I'll catch you again later in the next video. All right, Corey, it's all you and I'll see you soon and I hope this one helps you out. All right. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next video. Full list of states no longer offering extra $95 food stamps as emergency benefits come to an end by Joy Demandan. Millions of Americans on the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, have been receiving additional money each month during the COVID-19 pandemic and beyond. This extra money, known as an emergency allotment, or EA, has helped people who have faced setbacks due to the pandemic, from job loss to rising rent to inflation, but millions have already been cut off. For millions of others, the extra money is coming to an end as the federal public health emergency is set to expire on April 16, 2022. More than two years into the country's declared public health emergency, States have been able to receive federal dollars to help support programs giving aid to its residents. SNAP, formerly known as food stamps, provides a minimum of $95 extra to beneficiaries. The money deposited onto a recipient's electronic benefit transfer, EBT card, is earmarked to be spent on healthy foods at approved retailers. Now, states are beginning to roll back the funds. This is allowed when a state's emergency declaration ends or when the federal emergency declaration ceases. When emergency allotments end, benefits will drop by at least $95 per month or more per household. SNAP recipients are given a month's notice when the EA will stop. The emergency allotment cutoff. The following states are no longer providing emergency allotments or have given notice to its beneficiaries. Arkansas, Florida, Idaho, Indiana, and the last EA is in May, 
Iowa with the last EA in March, Missouri, M Mississippi, Montana, Nevada, Nebraska, North Dakota, Tennessee, South Dakota, and West Virginia with its last EA in May. States not listed are either still providing emergency allotments for April or are awaiting approval for funding from the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, who oversees SNAP. SNAP recipients do not have to do anything additional to receive the emergency allotment. It is deposited directly onto the EBT card. Keep in mind, sometimes the EAs are deposited separately from the regular SNAP allowances. The money can come a week or month later.